55. This is a, this is a set of parts. There are three in the room, but this is a set of parts out of a Detroit diesel DD15. Um, it ran 539,000 miles. I accumulated that mileage in about uh, a little over two years. Uh, we were comparing a commercial T5 10W30, a triple protection 15W40, and uh, the low vis, and looking for wear characteristics in all three engines. What we what we thought we would found, what we thought we would find is what we found in that there's no discernible difference in the wear between the three oils. Uh, all three oils perform as we expected them to do. The experimental T5 um, has exemplified its, itself in the field. Uh, the, the lack of wear on this engine is uh, very, very good. Can you show me maybe a point where you thought with a lower viscosity oil there might be some one wear. Of, one of the critical points is the, is the interface between the cam load and the roller follower because it's an EP area. Uh, in other words, it's an extreme pressure area. So the oil film, when the, when the cam and roller follower are operating, the oil film gets squeezed. And if the oil is not protecting the parts like it's supposed to, you'll have heat friction build up and you'll start moving metal around. And when you start moving metal around in an engine, bad things are going to happen. Okay, and this um, held up to that, that test? It did. Uh, it held up every, everywhere that we looked at it, the, on the cam lobes, uh, the roller followers, the bushings, and especially in the cylinder liner. Uh, this is, this is an, always an area of concern with thin vis oils. Uh, the industry has used traditionally uh, 1540s for years simply to protect the combustion chamber. So what we look for in the cylinder liners is that very distinct crosshatch pattern um, that is put in place during the machining process of the, of the liner manufacturer and it helps the piston ring seal against the liner and it also helps with oil control. If you lose oil control in the combustion chamber you're going to start polishing the liner face and you'll, it looks just like a mirror when you see it mm. and there's nothing for the ring to seal against and now your oil consumption is going to increase greatly. Perfect. Okay, can I grab Dan? Okay. I'm out. <laughs> Dan, can we talk about um, how a fleet owner might approach low viscosity oils and, and the transition to towards that? Sure, man. For at this point, low viscosity engine oils. What we were looking at here is really a precursor to what we're going to be making for PC11, which will be. Uh, come out around the 2016, April 2016 time frame. Right now, though, customers can benefit by going to lower viscosity oils, uh, such as 10W30s, that can provide some fuel economy benefits versus the, the 15W40s that they have today. So what we've demonstrated here is we have a 15W40, this would be like our triple protection product. We were looking at uh, wear protection, 1540. Compared to our current 10W30 products and the wear performance with those products as well. And, and, and those current 10W30s are the ones that the fleets can move to today mm -hmm. and enjoy that fuel economy benefit without any compromise in wear protection. Okay. And fuel economy is the, the number one way to, to measure ROI on these, these oils. Is there any measure measure? efficiency there, percentage-wise? So, with Raquel T5, mm -hmm. we claim a 1.6% fuel economy benefit like okay. from 1540 to a 10W30. Okay. Perfect. Um, anything else uh, as far as oil analysis and how a fleet might want to conduct that to, to measure their, their profits there? Yeah, well, one of the things that we always recommend is the fleet does oil analysis. Oil analysis is way to pick up any kind of condition that might be going on in the engine. Let's say they get a coolant leak or have an air filter leak, something along those lines. They can pick it up and catch an issue before it becomes a real problem. You know, these, these engines right now are going 50,000 mile drains on them. Consumers, are, our customers are wanting engines that are going to last, you know, 500, 750, a million miles. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to catch any kind of uh, issue before it becomes a real problem, oil analysis 